Uh, let's see if I can actually get to grips with this bloody thing. <clears throat> I've had this game for a while. Tired of waiting for shuttles? Want to fly wherever you want? Yes, yeah, learn all the basics again. Hopefully, he's recaded around the control pad. If he's not, we'll have to learn keyboard and mouse again. Hopefully, not have to do that, but we'll uh, see how that goes first. There's a single light of science. Right. Uh, this is a help box. Well, okay. It stays on screen uh, until you close it. Uh, was made to uh, disappear when certain time over and I was performing a uh, required action. Uh, press B to now close it. Yes. Right. I was just checking the box and it's on the corner screen. Like now, your current address will be shown. Hi, I'm Jay Swinger, your flight instructor for today. We'll be running through the full lesson plan, but if you're already familiar with some of the basics, you can talk to me about skipping ahead. Before we begin, I need to perform a few routine physical tests. Regulations, you know. Please move your head as far up or down as you can. Uh, do you want to invert? No. Okay, now please walk a few steps. Okay, now do a few jumping jacks, please. Finally, a few squats, please. Great! You seem to be in good physical shape, so we can move on to your flying lessons. Let me know how you want to proceed. Yes? Uh, continue with... How do we do that there? Oh, um, hold A. Ah, oh, okay, I get you. We'll start by using the transporter room outside to go to the docking bay. So we're gonna go through here. Trader's corner. Where our ship is, I guess we're gonna use. From here, you need to embark and take the controls. Right. Key following line into the Ah. Guess we're using these ladders here. Oh you've run into it. Quasar <laughs> Vanguard. You are cleared for undocking. Proceed. Oh, I see, right, so we go on that and then what? Oh, there you go. Wow. Oh, it's undocking. It's lifted up. Use the steering controls to turn your ship. And the answer is no. Right, your ship automatically rolls to stay aligned with the. Oh, is it? This can be turned off in the optional menu. Optional no, menu, we'll get it right in a minute. Strafing controls to move sideways or vertically. Okay, before we continue, make sure there's no obstacle right in front of you. I can't check from here, so I have to trust you on this one. When you clear, gently accelerate forwards. There's usually a speed limit inside docking areas, but you don't have to worry about exceeding it. The ship's computer will limit the speed for you. You can also fly backwards. Try this now. Okay, that flies backwards. Your ship sensors are all well and good, but sometimes it can be useful to get a more direct look at things. You can look at your ship from the outside with the magic of camera drones. Try it. Fly around a bit to get a feel for how it behaves. You can also cycle into a different external camera mode. This also works on targets within range. For now, return to the normal cockpit view to move on. So, let's practice what you've learned so far. I've prepared a little course for you. Please fly close to each of the navigation beacons in turn.
assuming that's the beacon it wants me to do. Your ship also has a boost function. Boosting drains your shield, so use it wisely. You may also notice that it has set your speed to maximum. This is normal and will only persist until you change speed again. Some pilots even find it a convenient way to set their speed to maximum. Don't worry, you're not being timed. Around here, okay, I'm up. This next thing is something you are going to be using a lot. I've marked a remote location for you to fly to. Right. Don't worry, I don't expect you to crawl there at your base speed. First, please align your ship so it points roughly towards the target. Now, activate travel mode. Oh, travel Depending mode. on your engine type, it may take a little time to get started. Okay. Ah, travel mode. Look at your speed bar just below the crosshairs. Keep accelerating for a while until you reach your ship's top travel speed. You've probably noticed other modes in the list when you activated this one. Each mode has its special use, and only one mode can be active at a time. Hmm, <laughs> you want ludicrous speed. <laughs> this is why it's best to point your ship towards your destination before engaging travel mode. Now, turn off the mode the same way you turn it on. You are now coasting, which means a few things. First, your ship is decelerating much more slowly than it normally would. Second, steering is easy again. Give it a try now. Third, you've probably noticed that your ship keeps flying in the same direction. You can come to a stop much more quickly by actively decelerating. This automatically re-engages the safety limits on steering. As for the travel direction, any strafe movement will revert that to the behavior you're used to. You can also drop out of travel mode more quickly, skipping the coasting phase. Let's try this now. Please reactivate travel mode. Okay. Travel mode. Now wait until you've built up some speed. Drop out of travel mode. Great. The next part will take place some distance from here, so let's take a break and let the autopilot do the hard work for now. The autopilot automatically navigates to the current objective. It engages travel mode when appropriate and makes use of gates, accelerators, and highways. Oh, cool. It even avoids obstacles in the way. Uh, well, mostly, which is why you still need to be at the controls. You may notice that it sometimes turns travel mode off when everything seems wide open to you. The safeties are on a bit of a hair trigger, probably to keep insurance rates from skyrocketing. While we wait, let's check out your logbook. Right, ship menu. There are several menus you can access this way. Open the one that's highlighted now. Here you have a 
access to details about your current status and statistics. The logbook is highlighted. Open it now. <laughs> that's cool. Right, uh, I guess that's down here, logbook. As you can see, there are several categories. You can select one to filter the entries or look at all of them at once. Most of the tips you've seen up until now have been added to the logbook. You can always go back and reread them if you feel like you've missed or forgotten something. Take your time looking around these menus. Close them when you're ready to move on. If you're getting bored, you can disable the autopilot at any time and fly the rest of the way yourself. Ah, let him do it. That's what the machine's there for, isn't it? There's a ship next to you. Its colour on your HUD indicates that it's not hostile. Please select it as your target. Match speed with your target. By the way, matching speed is even possible when both you and your target are in travel mode. I've now activated your primary weapon. The small dots that have just appeared indicate where the weapons are currently aiming. They will automatically track your current target as long as it's close enough. There are a handful of targets in front of you. Their HUD color indicates that they are enemies. Note that the HUD markers of some targets are smaller. These targets are currently outside your weapon range. Select the closest enemy target. A new HUD element has appeared right in the center of the target. This is the aim ahead indicator. It shows you where you need to aim, which is especially useful if the target is moving. Slowly cycle through all the targets. When a target outside your weapon range has been selected, you can see the weapon indicators becoming darkened. The aim ahead indicator also changes its appearance. Select the closest enemy target again and shoot at it until it's destroyed. Keep destroying the targets. You'll need to move closer in order to hit some of them. If you look to the right of your crosshair, you will see bars next to your weapons that gradually fill up when you are firing. This is it. It automatically dissipates when you stop firing. This happens more slowly if there are multiple weapons cooling down at the same time. Try and figure a way to get that inverted. This target is much sturdier than the others. Look at the blue bar above the target. This right. is its shield strength. After a few seconds without damage, it will begin to recharge. All shields work like this, including your own. secondary weapon, a missile launcher. It's loaded with a type of guided missile that requires a target lock. Please select the target in front of you. You can now see a lock being acquired. You may fire when ready. Oh, 
We'll that? focus on the highlighted weapon configuration section. Each installed weapon has its own row. The squares in each row show you which weapon groups that weapon is part of. You can assign any weapon to any weapon group. You can also change the ammunition that's loaded into your missile launchers. Try it if you like. Close the menu to move on. You can quickly cycle through your configured weapon groups. Please activate each primary group at least once. There's a capital ship nearby. Please approach it. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Well, I think they want me to go to that there, mate. Use that to get a bit closer to it, shall we? Right, there's the capital ship. <clears throat> as possible to its surface okay you can get much closer than that don't be nervous get even closer closer okay I'm guessing all right now come to a stop you are now flying relative to the ship thanks to special flight assistance software. This works for most things that are bigger than medium-sized ships. No matter what the capital ship does, you will move along with it. Oh, that's this cool. is especially useful for combat as well for docking or undocking. I've set up some targets on the ship's surface. Please destroy them. Try to use the ship's surface as cover wherever possible. Your strafe thrusters are useful here. You are not in actual danger, by the way. We're only simulating damage to your ship. Travel mode or the autopilot if you like. Autopilot engaged. I'm assuming he's gonna turn into that. Oh he is, he's moving. He's adjusting.
Oh yeah, we're doing the autopilot, isn't it? It's because he knows about the asteroids being around. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, so we go to here, then what's this A to press A to the back of the ship? New spacesuit. Which one well yeah, why would I You probably noticed that you keep moving in the same direction. That's because spacesuits don't have flight assistance and are limited to Newtonian flight. Oops. Any directional input, whether it's strafing, accelerating or decelerating, will push you in that direction. I'll let you try it out for a little while. While you do that, your spacesuit is equipped with a small hand laser. Please don't try to use it in fights with actual ships. You'd be pulverized immediately. You also have a repair tool. This tool works on most damaged objects, as long as they're not actually wrecked. This thing is beyond repair, though. Try to come to a stop using inputs right okay much better i think you're ready for some maneuvering please fly inside the wreck using the indicated entry point well we got break into that first as far as i know see so i put use both those buttons there to come to a full halt I assume. There's oh. an access hatch, but it's malfunctioning. Look for a broken control panel and use your repair tool to fix it. There we go. Now fly into the corridor. Ah, I see. Okay, that's. Nice. oxygen indicator which is slowly going down. There's no need to worry about it. You will be back in your ship with plenty of time to spare. There's another broken control pal. Repair this one as well. There's a lock box here. What a lucky find. Please activate your weapon and carefully shoot off all the locks. So, go back. Shift weapons also work, but you have to be much more careful, Lock boxes are fragile, and some even explode. Congratulations, you did it. You may keep the item for yourself after you finish here. Please leave the wreck. Turn to your ship now. Ooh. I've got a lot of controls or a tad there. Uh, insane. That's because it seems we've got a lot going on from what they have to offer in game wise. The modes. The spacesuit is also equipped with a booster. You can use it now to reach your ship more quickly. Be careful though. It's easy to overshoot or crash into your target that way. No, this is where I messed up last time. I'm trying to get back on my ship in my head. If I remember, I see if I remember you're correctly. Ready for <clears throat> I'm assuming that's where I came off from, yeah?
I hope I'll get back to my ship then. Because I've obviously forgotten. I keep moving away from it. Is it from the back of here? Take myself back. Or I'll just go back to. Not quite how I do this. Slide it down. <clears throat> Is it that? Was that something else? I feel that's something else. I don't know what I'm going towards. Whatever that is. Ooh. I'm trying to remember now. But, what was it I had to do when I got back over here? I've oh, gone. It's technically that bat bit is where we go into the ship and out of it. So. <laughs> a lot of looping here. Come on. Right, hang on a minute. There to be two different panels here. What is that? Is that like an airlock or what? Or not? I'll get back on the ship. Be a bit of a simple process to this, but autopilot engaged. See if he'll do it for me. <laughs> Guess not. Autopilot disengaged. Dock permission. Now follow the green lights to the dock. Side. Right, so you need docking permission. That's why I was going wrong. Yeah, see, look, there it goes open. So I thought I was doing something major, majorly wrong there. get that right there we go all right we'll do that just cuts into that straight away actually so that's good well, that's fine oh that was a nightmare well, the feeling of flying your space suit is fresh in your mind let's try the same with your ship please turn off flight assistance now i'll give you time to play around with it re-enable flight assistance when you want to move on to the next step Yeah, so the flight assist is obviously like... The next part is technically against the rules, so um, you didn't hear it from me. We'll combine two of the things you've learned. Aimed at empty space and activate travel mode. Okay. 
Okay, you're in the right. Speed. Speed. Well, let it build his own speed up, I guess. Now, turn off flight assist. Your speed is no longer increasing. More importantly, though, your ship is very maneuverable again. It takes some practice, but you can use this for significant course corrections during travel mode. Try this now by aligning to the new objective, then re-enabling flight assistance. I find it really fun to drift my way into jump gates at high speed that way, but do be careful and practice in a safe environment first. I don't want to hear about you turning your ship into a pancake, right? Right. Now that the exciting part is over, let's wind down with something a bit calmer. Fly to the Mark Station. Now that you're in range, you can interact with it to request docking permission, just like you did with your ship from the spacesuit. That's what I've just done there, so that's fine by me. But what do I do here then? How do I... That's what is there. Turn your ship in the indicated direction. You should now be able to see an abstract representation of the docking bay and your position relative to it. Each element must be aligned before you can dock. When aligned, the elements change color from red to green. I usually align my orientation first. Begin by moving the center of your crosshair to the matching element in the docking UI. Now that your ship is fully aligned, let go of the steering controls. There we go. There's a triangular element pointing upwards that represents your ship's position over the dock. If it's darkened, then your ship is outside the displayable area. If you can afford them, there are software upgrades that make this process a bit easier. So I was making a monumental uh, mock-up on the uh, other setting uh, budgeted. You're obviously very, very, very restricted on how much you can have and use and do. You have to like balance it out to start yourself off with. So I've now gone over to creative because now I can have that all the way to the top. I can do whatever I want basically. Creative allow you to then have whatever you want. Uh, I don't know what these about. I'm just gonna do some of these for the hell of it. Now I know about it. Go okay, okay. There you go. We've got one each. Not too bothered about blueprints right now. Um, go back. Starting ship. Uh, oh. I'm trying to do what I did last time. <clears throat> oh, lost. Strobo. <laughs> Just for the hell of it, because I was going with a mining vehicle. I wanted to try to make out large. Uh, which one was it? I think it's this one here. No, that's gas. There we go. Right. High preset then. Confirm. Oh, hang on. Did that give me a crew? Yes, it did. There you continue. Right. <clears throat> uh, we were going to have property wise got a mining outpost we're going to have I wanted to see if I could have a fleet didn't I so we're going with uh, medium gunboat no he was going to be a medium set continue add another one uh, medium gunboat Confirm. And then we were going to have a ginormous carrier with us. Why not? High preset. Confirm. With one last of a ship, I think. That's what the hell of it. See, these are builders, so that's how you would build space stations, I guess. What about the auxiliary and the large? Uh, we want a destroyer. Yeah, let's get you in there. High preset. Confirm. Right. 
go back. Universe, the Able Ring Highway, blah blah blah. Uh, Maddieverse. <laughs> right. Go back. Faction relations. Okay, this is part between who, me, who I'm more up with and what I like, I guess. Not worry about that story state, default, that'll be fine. Right. Right. Uh, this is obviously the other <laughs> sides of this ship. Okay, so how do I find places that will be things for mining? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, I assume yeah, the controls worked. I have no idea if this is working or not, man. Oh, I haven't so many fire groups yet either, ever. I assume you mine rocks, asteroids, so that's why I'm going to go over there and see what happens. Well, that's come up with a marker, so I'm assuming that sh this rock is mineable. Firing out automatically, and you hold. Oh, I see. Hold the right stick to just bring it all in. I think good items can be sold back on the black trail. The are the uh, black market traders. Oh, fair enough. Saves game. Oh, 
Ah. Right, okay, so this is how you do the... Uh, there we go. And if I do that, that will remove that. There it is. doing the air uh, trick. Oh, I see. Five will reset the camera. So the laser's out, firing away. Then all I've got to do is hold the right stick. To basically, just track the beams, everything in. got in well what does these mean then we've got uh, transactional logs from messages personal management account management global orders space suit upgrades modification inventory what we pick up so far then Right, and how much can we walk around on this thing then, Joey? We? I'm destroying everything. Hmm. Ah, was this one? Oh, orca. Oh, okay. I don't see much of the, the controls for the weapons. Grabbing, but don't know if that's actually doing anything. I've got a message on there actually. How do I read those? A uh, unique opportunity to help. Aiding us in becoming a fully fledged independent nation, aiming to take place in the long side of the Sims Power and the Jump Cade Network. That's gone up. So yeah, I must be grabbing whatever it is from these things, I guess.
Can I help? Um, what's that worth? More of gifts? You can fire if you want to do. Work somewhere else. Sir? I've changed my mind. Because <laughs> I have no idea what I was going to do here. Right. Oh, okay. Let me guess. It says as far as we go, transport room. What do we have on this ship room? So we've got the bridge. <clears throat> oh, no, you've got the brig. Crew quarters. Bridge. Current location. Only dock area. Dock area. Your spacesuit. <laughs> Put myself in the brig. <laughs> oh. Oh, the other ship actually has, has, has some. That's crazy. Alright, um. Crew quarters. Magnetar, Mineral, Vanguard. True woman. Okay, so it's strange you haven't got any kind of what the any uses yet. But I'm guessing that's something they're working on or doing bits and pieces while they keep building upon uh, dock area. Oh, I see. You can, you can get a bunch of um, so you can actually get some smaller ships to land on this thing. Oh, that's cool. I'll have to see how to buy a ship and put it on there. Back to the bridge. The captain is on deck. Bye, my orders. Let's click all this. Really makes me want to actually test out a theory and do a massive like <clears throat> a fleet of ships for war. Okay, they're the drones. Did they not come with me? They didn't, did they? There it is.
guessing that's why that's holding out like that. It's probably waiting for you to arrive back. Not even get into water at all. It's stopped. Let's see if we can there. Scanning your inventory. Oh. Oh. Go ahead and scan. Oh. We've detected contraband. We've detected contraband. Drop the cargo. Drop all these ones. Good decision, pilot. So at least I didn't have to worry about uh, what's going on. Do I not dock with this thing or what? I can't you can't dock with it, but how do I? What is this station exactly? to figure that out though and I because I can't seem to understand what I'm supposed to do with the factory. <laughs> I 
Okay, how do I work that out then? Right, so this is my ship. Ah, oh, broadcast fleet, attack my targets, open up, withdraw for combat, withdraw. Yeah, what do we do on this here then? Set formation. Stop our fire with all the Yeah, I'll have to have a look and find out how, to, how I'm supposed to work this. Lot to learn, if I'm all honest, to get to use to everything. Oh, mission manager, see what you can... to look into the other modes and see what other ships I can do fleet of things to see how it works <laughs> so, <laughs> will be interesting to see what I can come up with so we'll come back at that <laughs> 